guys welcome back to my channel and today we are looking at something very very special let me get those disclaimers out of the way and tell you all about it of course before i get started i do have those disclaimers to get out of the way i live near a major highway here in the country of belize so you will hear those motor vehicles in my background where i live there's also a lot of wild birds you may hear them calling chirping and crying in the background and lastly, I have dogs. I have dogs. My neighbors have dogs. So if anyone comes in this neighborhood, you will hear those dogs, especially my own, start barking. And with that, I get back to my regular scheduled program. So if you're seeing this down here, I recently did another video earlier where I was testing out some inks. And I put this down to protect my surface, my table, from spillage. And I actually didn't want to move it, so I just kept it because it's fairly clean except for one big ink splodge right there. But what makes today so special is because one of the things that I found at my local art supply store here in the country of Belize was this little doohickey. Yes, it is the Centrum Watercolor Set. Now, I've been searching the internet for info on this but i haven't found any um even on the centrum website itself it didn't even mention that they have this so i'm thinking that this is a very old set minus the scribbling because i also got a mechanical pencil at my local art supply store so i was just testing out the lead and it just has watercolor here it has 12 colors and then it has aquarelle in different languages nothing about it um so i'm not thinking these are professional grade paints i'm thinking these are more geared towards the upcoming artist or the aspiring student or child artist so yeah it doesn't even say i'm thinking here it says non-toxic too it doesn't say because everything is written in i believe german so let's crack this open and see what we're dealing with shall we okay let's open it up I am so sorry for the fancy way of opening things. I just didn't want to ruin the packaging too much. That's about it. So yeah. And it's all out. I didn't want to ruin the packaging too much. Okay, it comes with two war brushes, I think. They don't feel like water brushes. And it comes with a bunch of colors. It also has this little palette here. Small little palette, nice and cheesy. And 12 watercolor, well it does says watercolor on it, color on it. Plastic tubings. So I'm gonna pull out, well I already have my sketchbook out. And this is one of my homemade sketchbooks that I put together. And it has both a texture side and a smooth side. So I will be swatching these out on the smooth side. Uh, the, these little tubes themselves, they don't have any color names, pigment names, or pigment codes on them. It just says watercolors and some kind of German language. And it's, like I said, it's a plastic tubing. And I'm thinking that the cap represent the color that's inside. That's what I'm thinking. There's no color names. So I'm not sure if this is supposed to represent an orange or some kind of gold, golden yellow color, like a new gamboge or something. I'm not sure. Not sure if this I, I don't know there's no color names so since there's no color names i'm not gonna when i swatch them out i'm not gonna put any color names to them let me stop my blabbering and get to the swatching shall we <music> Okay, before I get to the swatching, my exacto knife. Um, yeah, these are the colors all pulled out. You would have seen me struggle a lot 
with these as I was trying to get paint out of them. One of my biggest concerns when getting paint out of these is that they had at least a few of them. I think the yellow, the orange, this yellow ochre like color, the green, the black. Um, they all had a lot of binders come out before I get the issue, before I got it. And I'm hoping that whoever gets this, they don't have issues because these were really hard for me to squeeze out. They're really stiff in there and it's kind of difficult to squeeze it out with these little tubes. And the label for my black actually came off when I tried to squeeze it out. So I just have to remember that to stick that back up. So now let me stop with the blabbering and get with the swatching. Same job, same town, cause we've been told that's the way our world goes round. Walking on the grounds we've always known, stepping on the footprints in the snow. But when it melts, the other ways will show. swatching them out what is my impression interesting I have interesting I've never had a watercolor paints that works like this before with me um they're really clumpy except for this color here I think it's this color let me remember the order I had it in these two these two yeah I think it's this color right here this is the only one that it went down smooth and beautiful. The others were very, very clumpy. I mean, they, they're clumps in it. I'm not sure if they didn't grind all the pigments when they made these watercolors because it's very, very clumpy. Even the ones that came out beautifully are clumpy. So I have to kind of like scrub the color in it. See, there's clumps. There's clumps in the watercolor itself. And my water, believe it or not, is not chalky. So I was expecting my water to be very, very chalky, but it's not. It's still kind of clear. Yeah, after doing that swatch. So that's the surprising part. It's clumpy, but yet my water is not chalky. The color payout is not as bright as I would want it to be. But again, these are designed for the aspiring artist child. I'm not thinking that these are for a student artist, but they're for children who wants to be artists someday. And yeah, so just let me make my swatches dry out. And then I have uh, some leaf that I'm going to be painting that's already pre-drawn up. Okay, I believe my swatches have all dried up. I've waited an hour. I have a piece of tissue in my hand. I want to test if they are chalky. So let's test the chalkiness. Yeah, these are chalky. You can see the red, right? Let's do the black to make it more outstanding. Yeah, they are very chalky. I was expecting them to be chalky, so that's not a problem. I was expecting that. Now that my swatches are all dry up, let me paint my leaf now. I'll see you on the flip side. Just for a while. my thoughts on these paints. I hope you can see my leaf that is here. Yes, those are leaves. Um, the truth about it is I am using these paints as if someone who's trying to learn watercolor painting. Um, as you notice, I did not use these brushes because they don't feel really good. I mean, they're soft, kinda-ish. 
but they don't feel really good. And I wouldn't have been able to paint with them. I mean, the experience for me was a learn curve. Um, I learned towards the end how to deal with these paints. They were, they don't move. They, it's not, you saw me first putting down water. I hope I showed that process where I tried to go in wet on wet and it just, it didn't move at all. So, and I wasn't expecting much movement to be honest, but I just wanted to see what a wet on wet application was going to look like. I wasn't expecting much movement. Um, and it didn't do any movement at all. And they were just pasty. Very, very pasty. Um, for me, for me, and this is a personal thing I'm saying, I'm not saying they're bad, but for me, they don't work the way I would like them to work for me. And so even though, yes, I could see the aspiring child artist getting these, for me, they're not good for me. It's a personal thing. Um, they were very hard to squeeze out. I mean, I literally had to put a lot of force in my fingers trying to get the paints out. Um, they weren't bright enough. They didn't move the way I want. They didn't move the way I wanted them to. And I just started to think abstract, how to do something abstract and to work with the paints as if it I was painting abstract leaves. And that's what I end up with. Guys, thank you so much. Um, put your comments in the comment section below. I will greatly appreciate it. Tell me what you think. Where can I improve with this paint? And yeah, I will not say don't get it. I mean, there are parents out there who want to foster their child's creativity. And if your child wants to be an artist and you can afford these paints, by all means, go get them. Um, just know that with these paints, there is a learning curve. So kids out there, be patient with these paints. And on that note, I'll say, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.